We are at Costco. I'm gonna fill the cart and then I'm gonna go home and show you guys what I bought. Get ready for the haul of all hauls. No, it looks problem. wonderful. What I have a problem with are the ones. But 20 bucks is a lot. Yeah. Cart's filling up. Not too bad though, thus far. <laughs> you know I couldn't pass up the sourdough, girl. It was looking good. Look at this Book Talk bestsellers box set. This is so cool. It's just a bunch of bestseller books. Nala has read three of these, I think. She loved these. Yeah, but this is cool because these are like popular on TikTok. They sell it as like a set and it's 26 bucks, which is what? Divided by four? It's like seven bucks each. Uh, 650? Period. East Aurora education coming through. They have um, lots of new books here though. Happy Place, Lessons in Chemistry, good stuff. This one I haven't read yet. This I hear nothing but good things about the TV show. And I was invited to like the Bridgerton Queen Charlotte premiere in this in Chicago and a bunch of people came and I should have gone. I've heard good things about this too. And obviously many other books. This one I have and I'm very excited to read it. Very, very excited. I love all the box sets though. Jane Austen box set, the World Mythology Collection, Royal Doll. I don't like saying his name, it's heavy. Oh, this, I bought this for my mom for Mother's Day and I bought one for myself. And I definitely paid more than $23.99. The new Allie Hazelwood, it starts with us. Hated it. This one I hear very good things about. This was okay. This one I really didn't like very much. Um, her first book though, I thought was like incredible. House of the Cerulean Sea, I haven't read, but I read one of his other books and I'm like down for this one for sure. I've heard that's a, a little depressing. That one's straight. I know a lot of y'all know about this one. Look at this Royal Doll collection though. Sorry. So many freaking books in there. 30 bucks. That's not a bad price. Love on the Brain. It's okay. Not my favorite. The Hemingway stories. Should I be reading books like this? So I can be like, oh, remember when Ernest Hemingway said la di -da? This is such a pretty cover. I'm done with Colleen Hoover. Oh, and Taryn Fisher. I'm done with Colleen Hoover though. Um. You know, no hard feelings, but it's kind of the same stuff over and over again, which sometimes I like and sometimes I don't. <gasps> Here it is. 30 bucks. Not bad. Okay, I can't get over that. I'm buying this one, but I can't get over how pretty these sets are, you guys. Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, Persuasion, Emma. I don't really like Jane Austen that much, but the set is beautiful and only 33 bucks. I'm really blown away by this. I don't know why I never... I mean, I bought cookbooks here, but that's about it. Anne of Green Gables. Ooh. Nala loves mythology. And Spy School. She freaking loves Spy School. Highly recommend. She loves these books. Me and my mom thought we could share a cart. <laughs> L-O-L. O-L. We could share it. It's barely even full. Five, twenty-five, and as a little treat, a hot dog. I won three thirty-one. That's so. What was our cart just now? Ate some. But look at how good the bread looks. Oh, this is Stan's bread. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a full haul when I get home. It's got our reward, and this is what it's all about, friends. The hot dog at the end. <laughs> It's only what we can afford. <laughs> All we can afford is a dollar hot dog. <laughs> We're officially into the whole portion of this video. So let me show you everything that I got at Costco. In fact, let's throw it to Sarah in the garage to start us off. This is the chair right here. It's a folding director's chair. Looks like this. It was on sale for 40 bucks instead of 50. So my boyfriend said that I should get one with the little thing. He doesn't trust our rocking chairs. <laughs> Not sure why, but... <laughs> That's okay. These are the rocking chairs we normally use. Join your brothers, enjoy. All right, now that she's done, let's get into the freezer stuff because I want to get this stuff out to the freezer ASAP because I need to get out of here. My watch is on this hand very shortly. So um, I was really, my, my goal here was to replace things that I was already going to be purchasing in smaller quantities somewhere other than Costco. So that was a big deal to me and I think I did a pretty good job. Also, of course, I got some other things that I wasn't gonna find somewhere else. Like this, I wouldn't have purchased this somewhere else. These are the fully cooked chicken sausages. This is the Jones Dairy Farms brand. And I don't know, I've never had this. Three links, 90 calories, lots of protein, no sugar, love that. 
hopefully the kids like this and if they don't I'll be using them for like breakfast casserole or like omelets or breakfast for dinner nights I'll incorporate it some way if they don't want to just eat it on their own this also came out of the freezer section and obviously it looks like I tore into it because I did so this is the Tokyo style uh, show you is that what it's called? Show you ramen with chicken, ramen noodles with tender white chicken, uh, veggies in a Tokyo style soy sauce broth. Has six bowls ready in minutes. I might as well show you what it looks like. So it's just like a little freezer bowl. They're not huge, but they looked so good. So me and my mom just split these. I'm actually just gonna take these out and I will be keeping these in my inside freezer for days when I just haven't quite gotten around to like whipping up breakfast or lunch before I gotta run out of the house. Thankfully today, as you saw, I have a Costco hot dog, so no need to make lunch. Yeah, all you do is add water. I'm very interested. Hopefully it's good, because I think it was like 16 bucks. It wasn't the cheapest, but if it's a good hearty meal, then I'm not mad at it. Oh, I did buy these brats. This is just Kirkland brand brats. There's so many in here, and this was only like 10 bucks, I think. Like, it's just such a good price. We will never eat that many unless I'm having like a gathering of some sort. So I will probably be taking some of these out and just um, vacuum packing them into three sausages at a time because that's more likely how much I would use to feed myself and like the kids. Maybe four. So this is gonna be like a solid four dinners, which is really not bad for protein for, you know, four dinners? Like that's a lot. My kids hate the sweet Italian sausage from Costco. I don't know why. I didn't buy it again. I'm still trying to work through it. I have to like cut it up and put it, I mean, they're 11 and 12, so they know what they're eating, right? <laughs> they know they're eating that sausage, but I have to really jazz it up when normally they're just happy to take Italian sausage. Like that's their jam, they love it. So I don't know why they don't like it. I like it, I think it's good, but I can't be the only one eating five pounds of sausage. I mean, I could, but like, what does that say about me as a person that I'm willing to do such a thing? I don't wanna do that. So instead, this week, I decided to try the same brand, except this is just original pork sausage. So am I in for a world of hurt? I don't know, but this I like because you can use it as breakfast sausage. You can use it, you can season it to, you know, an Italian style sausage. Although again, this is a little bit more than we would need for one dinner for our family because this package is five pounds and so it's like one and a quarter pounds when really I think we need more like three quarters of a pound. It's not worth slicing and dicing for me because I like that they're already separate, but just, just know that. They're about one and a quarter pounds each. I didn't get very much freezer stuff because I don't have that much space. So the last thing I got was just this big old thing of broccoli florets. These are the organic ones. I don't know if they're as non-organic. I didn't see them because I probably would've bought those instead. I don't know. I'm trying to be better here cooking more at home, yada, 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 but I'm not on the organic train yet, per se. Surely she's coming though. I can hear her trucking in the distance there. That's where the train is, <laughs> the real train. <laughs> so we love Kerrygold butter here, but I saw that Kirkland has their own brand of like grass-fed butter. And this definitely looked like it was in the general like style of Kerrygold. So I tried this out. It was just like a couple dollars or dollar or two cheaper. So we'll see how this works out. My kids love Kerrygold butter. And then I saw this bad boy. This is the Taiwan Boba Milk Tea. This is a 10 pack. My kids love boba. They love it, love it, love it. I buy it from everywhere. You guys have heard me talk about it before. We get it wherever we can get it. Now this I thought was interesting because one, there are four different flavors in here. But the dominant flavor is the classic milk tea with brown sugar boba and that's for the best because that one's usually the best, <laughs> at least in this household. And then you have the taro milk tea with brown sugar boba the creme brulee milk tea with caramel boba, and then the passion fruit pineapple green tea with fruity boba. That one I'm very interested in. Yeah, I'm excited to try these out. I believe it just, I'll open it for you guys. I'm very curious as to what was actually in it. That knife jumped out at me. So it comes with the boba straws on top. That's what's up here. And then it has them all separated, but it has the little boba packet, and then it has the milk tea packet. This is new. Normally when I'm buying these, I only have the boba packet. So this has the milk tea packet as well. It tells you how to prepare them. And that's perfect. This I wanna say was a little bit pricier as well. I mean by my standards. So I wanna say this was like, I wanna say this was over $15, somewhere between 15 and 20. Sarah, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Caramel boba. This looks so good, you guys. I really hope this is really good and this is something I can buy like a couple times over the summer. Just like something fun for the kids to do. They can do it on their own, so love that. Okay, that was all the freezer stuff, so I will be right back. Let me put this away. Ooh, we zoomed in a little. Okay, I didn't do a lot of non-food items, but I'm gonna show you what I did end up getting. I picked this one up on a whim. This was not on my list, 
but I really love body wash, man. <laughs> this set just got me. I've had the coconut coffee one in the past. In fact, I might have even had this rose water and pink sea salt scrub, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I smelled them all because you can't pop them open to like, you know, you can smell them. They smell great and I don't know, I feel like a good price for three body washes. Plus this way I can share it with the kids if I want. I did have toothpaste on my list and I wanted the Sensodyne Extra Whitening one, which is the one I normally use, but I think it was $26 for a four pack and it's just out of this world. Like that is so much money for toothpaste. I bought the up and up version the other day. It's $4, $3.99 for a four ounce one. So I was like, look, I can just get the generic one at Target. I could probably get it even cheaper at Walmart. And it's the same thing, I mean, basically, and it's only $16 versus $26, so I'm not gonna pay the extra $10 for the name brand of Sensodyne when the generic one's doing the same thing. So I skipped it, but not to worry, I still spent that money on something else. I got the Claritin Ready tabs. These ones have, I think it's 70 tablets, okay, and it's 10 milligrams, which if you're an allergy sufferer, okay, they have a great selection there. Um, my daughter likes the chewable ones, and unfortunately, they don't have chewable Zyrtec, unless I'm crazy. They only have chewable Claritin, but the chewable Claritin are only five milligrams, and that's not enough. Like, I want the 10 milligram one, because the price, pricing wise, it doesn't make sense for me to buy the five milligram one. So I got the Ready Tabs, which are still dissolvable, like in your mouth, but they're not the chewable ones, so it's not quite the same pleasant experience, but, she thinks that swallowing a pill is a certain form of torture, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> She'll be happy with those. My son, however, he does the regular Zyrtec because they both have allergies and they're both like, you know, like, she, like she's in softball and stuff, so it really bothers her right now because she's outside a lot. My son just pops the pills and we do get them there and it is like the best price for Zyrtec pretty much anywhere that I've seen, so highly recommend it if you, you know, need some allergy meds. And then I picked up these. These are by uh, Gum, the Gum brand, and these are just like soft little picks or whatever but i don't know if you can see it but on the side they have like the little packs and you just refill the little plastic pouches and you can keep them in your purse in your backpack in the car wherever and they're just super duper handy like we used to get them a lot when the kids had braces which they don't have now but they will have again soon um but i just like to keep them in the car because you know and this was only four dollars girl <laughs> Okay, so then I also picked up this set of books. I showed you guys the books at the store. They have a pretty good selection. I was not mad at it. The prices were better than what I'd seen at Target recently, um, but Target does price match to their online price, which is better than the Costco price. But if you don't wanna go through all that hassle, then you know, just check out Tar or Costco. But anyway, I picked up this two pack. These are uh, the Tales of the Pizza Flex, Five Nights at Freddy's. I think these are the books my kid is reading. And I don't think he has five and six. I think he had up to four. If I'm wrong, this will probably be going to one of their cousins or something, but it just felt like a good price. And they have the sets. They have one and two, three and four, and then five and six. So just in case you have a FNAF lover in your life. These I got for my boyfriend because that man loves mouthwash. He's, he's got a minty mouth. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's a minty mouth kind of fella. I don't like this kind of mouthwash. I'm the one without alcohol, but I felt like this was a pretty good price on the stream. So now let's get into some of our pantry stuff. So I bought a lot of stuff for the pantry. I was really trying to think of like, what am I buying at other stores on a regular basis that I could just get at Costco and make it make sense and find a place for, you know, the abundance until it needs to be used kind of thing. So I got the granulated garlic. This one was like, am I crazy or was this like $10? Because like the other stuff was not quite that expensive, but I feel like the garlic was up there. I could be crazy though. Black pepper. I mean, this stuff kind of goes without saying. The cinnamon, we like to make cinnamon sugar and I have a little container over there so the kids can scoop it onto like, you know, oatmeal, a coffee if they happen to have one on the weekend or you know, whatever, just when they need to add it. This truffle Parmesan stuff, what is it? And Parmesan and black garlic. I haven't tried this one, but we love truffle flavoring. But this other one, this Kinder's caramelized onion butter is literally so good like we put it on everything not a cat hair we put it on everything and it tastes so good and you can get this at costco too so obviously i didn't rebuy it because we have plenty still but truffle we'll see how this is we got a giant thing of salt which i don't know why i haven't been buying that there forever <laughs> i got this taco seasoning i really hope this isn't too spicy because um i'm fine with it and all is fine with it but jay is not a big fan of super spicy stuff and I've been using taco seasoning more and more, but I'm doing like different packets and it's just kind of adding up. This was not very expensive, like six bucks or something. So to me, it just makes sense to be able to buy it in a big size. We got some Parmesan cheese. My kids go through this like you would not believe. My daughter likes to act like she is not lactose intolerant, the way she consumes this cheese. 
and we all suffer the consequences. We got some pure vanilla. I haven't tried this one. I used to be pretty bougie with my vanilla, like I wasn't, and then I was, and now I'm not again, because I just don't feel like there's a huge difference, but tell me if I'm wrong, or if they have like an organic vanilla that I didn't see, but I've been doing a lot of baking and stuff like that, so I wanted a big thing of vanilla, because vanilla can definitely cost a lot of money at the regular grocery store. This I saw, and I didn't buy it, and then the guy was like, look, look, I have chicken with Japanese barbecue sauce. Are you gonna eat it? And then I was like, no, thank you. And then my mom took it, and she's like, oh, it's good. And he's like, do you think that your mother would lie to you? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> probably. He's like, eat this chicken. You're gonna love it. And he was right, I did love it. And I don't even like chicken that much, but this Japanese barbecue sauce has a little something going on. Like, it is so good, you guys. I'm sure many of you already know that, but I didn't know that, and I'm just, I'm hyped up to have this now. I'm about to put it on everything. And then we got a bunch of the little snacking mozzarella cheese bowls. So these are really good, um, just obviously to snack on or whatever, but I wanna get the kids in the habit of making like slightly more balanced lunches for themselves, not just for school, but also at home. So I'm hoping this is like a good start. Like, hey, don't forget to add a little bit of cheese, some, you know what I mean? Like a little something else besides crackers. That's it, that's the end of the sentence. That's what they wanna eat. Crackers, all the time. Like crackers are cool, dog, but so is cheese, meat, fruit, vegetables. Like have we, there's food groups. Feel free to explore them. The whole reason I went was for liquid IV. We've really gotten in the habit of drinking these and um, we have one a day basically. I got these two, I've never had these flavors, but the price was great. They were on sale and I think 30 of them were $25 and I've been paying $16 for 10. So the price was obviously much better and I'm just taking a chance that we're gonna like these flavors. So this should last us a few weeks and then we'll go back. But I did order the Salud ones, which is like, uh, they're like more Mexican flavors, like um, Agua Fresca flavors. I ordered those online, so they'll be coming soon. We'll see which one I end up liking more. I do believe the other ones have less sugar. I guess this is an old pantry now, is it? I'm just showing you everything. All right, sorry. Jack's Links, we had to pick up the beef sticks. There's 20 beef sticks in here, it's like 15 bucks. These are perfect for the kids to throw into their um, lunches or like as a snack at school. I know school's coming to an end, but it's still a nice hearty snack. I have them all the time as well. Not all the time, but <laughs> you know. And then I got these Stone Fire little non-dippers. So um, these, the only downside is that you have to keep them in the fridge. I, that's a downside to me because I don't have that much fridge space, I feel like. But they're so good and I feel like they would make a good another piece of the puzzle when it comes to them making like well-balanced little lunches and stuff like that. And you can kind of use them the way that you use the pizza crust in the Lunchables. You can use these in place of that and just pack like a little bit of marinara, some little pepperonis and some, some cheese, some Parmesan if you want. And then you have like a little, you know, one or two bite like little pizza Lunchable situation. These are so I love mushrooms. This is the chef's sampler mushrooms. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different types in here. And I love them. I saw a small pack of this at the Amazon Fresh store. I bought them, I maxed them. I'm gonna make these and me and my son, probably my boyfriend too, <laughs> we'll all eat these. They're so good. If you like mushrooes, I just, I love this little sampler one. I just saute them up and serve them with literally whatever we're having for dinner. You get mushrooms on the side and it's, Chef's kiss. These I bought on a whim. This is an impulse, okay? This was right by the checkout. These are the Danish puff pastries. And these are um, directly from Karen's Bakery Made With Love. So it's supposed to be like a puff pastry with the creamy inside, so like the vanilla cream. In my brain, I was thinking like a high class vanilla Oreo, like, but you know, like better, like elevate that. So um, I'm hoping these are absolutely delicious. I don't want to leave you hanging. We're going to do a quick taste test. Oh, Okay, and they come in like little separate, oh, I like that, so that they don't all, you know, get exposed to air immediately. Okay, here we go. I feel like I saw someone post about these. I want to say it was Miss Liz Hart, but I could be wrong. Mm. The outside is almost like a saltine cracker, but with like sugar on it. It's so light and airy, it reminds me of like those, I don't know how to say it, girl, Pal palmiers, palmier, something like that. It reminds me of those. These are really good. I, mean, I have so many of them. Wow, yeah, okay, these are really good. They're like salty and sweet. The cream is like not overwhelming. Those are so good. I got a big bundle of this organic pasta. So we do pasta semi-regularly, at least a couple times um, a week. So this is good to just have on hand. It's not the best price. You can definitely get pasta cheaper somewhere else. But sticking with our pasta, I also bought some of this. I always call it Rao's. Is it Rao's? 
I'm not sure. You tell me how you pronounce it, girl. But I bought some of that fella's homemade tomato sauce. So it's so good. It's just marinara sauce. And my daughter's really, she's kind of picky when it comes to marinara sauce. But the fact that she's willing to eat the sauce makes me happy. So like I'm gonna buy the one that she prefers. And I do think this just has butter ingredients all around. It doesn't have a bunch of, it's just tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, oregano. That's it. And it tastes so good. It's definitely worth the surplus in price. We still have one actually, but I didn't want to run out because like I said, it's her favorite. So when the kids do have something that they really love, I, I'll, I'll buy it even if it's a little bit more. Picked up the avocado mash. This is the Good Foods brand. Kirkland has a brand too and the price is basically the same almost, except that in this one, if they're tricky, in this one you're getting two ounces in a cup. And in the Kirkland brand one, you get two and a half ounces in a cup. So I got this one because I actually prefer to have a little bit less. I wish the price reflected the fact that you're having less, but that's fine. No biggie. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy these and I'll even, I eat these past their date all the time. You don't have to be like me, but I am not tripping when it comes to the expiration date on these. Okay, then we got the Idaho Spuds. <laughs> I only have four. These are sold in an eight pack. This was another thing that my mom and I decided to split. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had a call, guys. I might have to end this freaking video later. Okay. Sometimes we gotta handle business. We picked up some green grapes. You know what green grapes look like. I was looking at this dietitian online, like, or he's not a dietitian, he's a cardiologist, I think. And he's like this older gentleman. He's very popular, so you might know who I'm talking about. My boyfriend had one of his videos on and he was like telling you about fruits and which ones you should have and which ones you, you know, maybe stay away from. And he was like, grapes, grapes are okay. You can have five, six grapes. <laughs> I was like, five or six grapes? Did you mean? five or six cups of grapes, cause that's how many I'm having. So now I gotta reevaluate my whole life. Cause I was like just munching grapes every time I came to the fridge. Really, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. I don't know girl, I'm gonna keep eating them. Blackberries, the kids love blackberries. This was a really good price too, this was only a few bucks. The organic ones were like $9. <laughs> no, <laughs> the way these kids go through berries, I don't think so. We got some gala apples. Are they called gala? Gala or gala? Gala apples. Gala apples. Gala sounds, gala apples. That's a gala apple. No. That's a gala apple. No. I got some onions too, girl, because I buy onions like one at a time and I get them through Instacart and they're so much. I don't know why. I don't know if there's like an extra fee for having to pick an, an onion, but anyway, these are just sweet Vidalia onions. Whole bunch of them for like four bucks. A whole bunch of avocados. I did have to search and search and search to get some that were not already like mushy. Um, these have some firmness to them still, but you get six nice sized avocados for I think $4 or $5. So really good price. And then we got some active yeast because I have been on my bread baking game girlfriend. If you want to see, check out my Instagram because that's where I'll be posting it if I haven't already. But I'm just going to keep this in an airtight container instead of buying the little packets. This was like a few bucks. Totally worth it. Oh, and then we got some chewy, 25% less sugar granola bars, bananas. These were also super cheap. I feel like this was like three bucks or two bucks. We got some low carb flour tortillas because my kids are heavy on the uh, quesadilla game lately. Girl, the amount of quesadillas that they've been asking for, and you know what I started doing instead of putting the cheese on the inside of the tortilla and then flipping it closed or you know stacking another one on top and on the heat, instead of doing that, I started throwing the cheese down first, like onto the comal or the pan or whatever, and letting it bubble up and kind of fry a little bit. And then I threw the tortilla on top, kind of pressed the tortilla down, and then I was flipping it over, and then you have a grilled cheese literally within it. So then I close it and I use a little bit of grease left from the cheese on the pan or on the gomal or whatever, and boom, baby. Like you use that to fry up and crisp up the outside of the tortilla a little bit, Girl, it's so good. And then the sour cream, like we're doing sour cream and I add a little bit of green Tabasco and I add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper and lime juice and then mix it all up. These kids cannot get enough of it. It's like their favorite little pre-workout, pre-softball, whatever, like pre-practice snack. Oh my gosh, love it, tastes so good. So much better than my regular quesadillas. Like some of y'all have probably already been doing this, girl. Uh, but I wasn't, okay? <laughs> now we have a gigantic thing of the white rice. So these are little white rice bowls. They're flat and little bowls. And Jaden likes to take these 
for lunch or um, on the days when I'm not cooking or when I have leftover meat or veggies but I don't have anything else to give them, they take this and they kind of doctor it up themselves, add whatever sauces, add whatever, boom, this is a delicious dinner. Those mushrooms, you could eat them with just this white rice. <gasps> that Japanese barbecue sauce, girl. Did I just come up with dinner for the night? I won't use these on days that I'm cooking because you do pay a premium to have them like this. I will just make rice in the rice cooker. Mandarin oranges! I've never bought this brand. I sincerely hope that my children are like, mm, delicious, I don't taste the difference. We got a giant thing of extra virgin olive oil. Um, there, This is the organic one, which runs a little bit more expensive than the other ones. Um, but I, I felt like I didn't have a place to house the gigantic ones. Otherwise, I would have bought those. We got some sand sourdough bread. Oh, I just love sourdough. I need a starter. I need a sourdough starter. I don't feel like starting one on my own, so I told my brother to start it, get it going, and then give me some of his starter, and then we're gonna be making bread off the same starter, and we're gonna be like, right here, okay? And we're gonna just be making our bread, our sourdough every week, and my family's gonna be like, I wish I had a sourdough starter. You don't. Sorry. But in the meantime, until I get my sourdough starter going, I'm just gonna buy sourdough. Then I got a big old thing of club crackers. You just can't beat this price. I can't beat this price. You might be able to, but this is a great price. And there's four individual boxes within here, so you don't even have to like keep the whole thing, you know, on the cracker shelf. You don't gotta do that. Last but certainly not least, I got this big old pack of Alani News. My best friend hates that I drink these, and I get it because like, is any energy drink really good for you, long term especially? I'm gonna say probably not, but I have been working out a lot in the mornings, and in the mornings when I know I'm gonna work out and I'm gonna be out in the garden or pulling weeds or doing whatever, I have one in the morning. I'm not hungry until two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't need coffee. I don't crave iced coffee, hot coffee. I don't crave it at all. I'm having a 10 calorie energy drink and mad water and I feel so good. Like my body feels so good. I just feel good on those days. So I can't quit it yet. But the prices are not normally great when you buy them individually. So I just bought this 18 pack. I'm at Target. I'm just showing you guys the price difference. <laughs> you get 12 for $21.99 on sale. I think I paid $19 for all of the ones at Costco. And it's got the Juicy Peach, the Cosmic Stardust, and the Cherry Slush. None of which are my favorite flavors, but to me it kind of all tastes just like artificial energy drink. None of them are nasty by any means. I, I like them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more or if you maybe want to see what I make with all of these things and how I'm cooking these little meals. I don't know how I would package that in a video, but if you're interested in more cooking videos, just let your girl know because I cook every day. So I might as well bust y'all out and have you join me like a little cooking show, but more casual because I don't even wear an apron, you know what I mean? I need a good apron. I need like the Mexican apron. You know what I'm talking about. Like the smock apron. If it's not a smock and my tia guia or my tia chepa or my, my machui or whoever did not wear it at some point in their lives, I don't want it. If they wouldn't wear it, if they didn't approve, I don't want it. I almost forgot. Bye.